As of this year, 2023, the majority of e-bike manufacturers are still building their e-bikes without cruise control. When riding an e-bike, sometimes you might want to keep a constant speed, and that's not always easy to do. So if your e-bike display is the kind that allows you to change the bike's maximum speed limit, this might be of interest to you. Since road conditions change continually due to the wind direction and gradient of the road, to maintain a constant speed, you have to make a conscious effort to continually change your pedaling effort or to change the bike's level of assistance. If your e-bike has torque sensing pedal assistance, it would be like riding a pedal bike and it's fairly easy to keep a constant speed. The technique that I'm proposing is called Simulated Cruise Control, or we can use the acronym SCC. SCC has more impact with bicycles that use cadence sensing than torque sensing. If you don't carefully control the level of assistance with the power level selector buttons and your pedals, or adjust the power with the throttle, the speed of the bike will constantly change in response to changing inclination of the road or wind conditions. Turning the pedals tells the motor how much power to produce as determined by the level of assistance you choose with your power selection buttons. To maintain a constant speed, you have to constantly pedal and pause, pedal and pause, pedal and pause. When using the throttle, if you just hold the throttle at a constant power level, the bike will slow down when going against the wind or when going up a hill and vice versa. To maintain a constant speed, you have to tweak the throttle constantly. But that requires constant attention on your part and this gets tiring for the hand and wrist or the thumb if you're using a thumb throttle. In the United States and Canada, every Class 1 or Class 2 e-bike, to be legally allowed to operate, has to be locked at a maximum speed of 32 km an hour or 20 miles an hour. Some e-bikes allow the user to change the programming to select a different maximum speed. The solution I'm proposing will work only if your e-bike allows that choice. For simulated cruise control, you open programming mode and then select the desired speed for your ride. Suppose you're going on a leisurely ride on a bicycle path shared with pedestrians and it's a weekend day and you have to share the trail with a lot of walkers. And let's say you want to keep a constant speed of 18 kilometers an hour or 11 miles an hour. This is the display that comes with the Bolton controller that I installed on my Rad Rover fat bike. And this is how to access the programming feature with this display. Okay, so first we will turn the screen off with the middle button. And now we'll turn it on and within six seconds of having turned it on, you have to press the up and down arrows together. So we'll turn it on, press the up and down arrows, and that brings up the menu. So the very first item at the top left is the speed limit. You see that it's set for 32 kilometers an hour. So we want to change that. Let's say we want to change it to 18 kilometers an hour. So we'll press a short press on the middle button. And by pr short pressing it, you see now that the 32 kilometers flashes. So now you're in a position where you can change it. So use the down arrow. So by clicking on the down arrow, you can bring your speed, you can adjust the speed downwards. So let's put it, let's set it for 18. Once you've, <clears throat> once you have the speed you want, press on the middle button. So a long press on the middle button and here we are. 
Now the speed has been set for 18 kilometers an hour. Once the desired speed has been set, unless you're going down a hill, the bike will ride within about 1 km an hour of the set speed. You can operate SCC either with the pedals or with the throttle. With pedaling, use your selection buttons to choose a power level a notch higher than what you think is needed for your program speed and turn the pedal slowly. You don't need to apply any force on the pedals and the bike will maintain your set speed. SCC works equally well with a twist throttle or a thumb throttle. In both cases, you ride at full throttle all the time and the bike won't exceed the selected speed. It's easier to hold the twist throttle or the thumb throttle at its maximum rather than trying to hold it midway and constantly having to adjust. With this method, when the bike has reached its set speed, it stops accelerating. Then the bike's controller works by turning the motor off until it slows a bit, then back on a bit until it reaches the set speed again, and so on. When I travel on a smooth, quiet road with my fully loaded camper, I don't want to exceed 25 kilometers an hour. If something happens that sends me flying into the ditch, I'd much rather hit the ditch at 25 than at 32, and the slower speed gives me more control and more time to enjoy the scenery. But when I'm pedaling and just enjoying the ride without SCC, I find that before I realize it, I'm going at the legal maximum speed of 32 km an hour, which is too fast. That's when the simulated cruise control method is nice to use to keep my speed down. It doesn't work when going down a hill, though. The force of gravity makes the bike exceed the set speed, and I must have the self-discipline to use the brakes. If my bike had regenerative braking, it would prevent me from going too fast when going downhill, but my Red Rover doesn't offer that feature. One thing that's inconvenient about this method is that you can't change your set speed on the fly like you can with real cruise control. You have to stop the bike and enter programming mode to change the maximum speed. I found that this method is less tiring than using the bike in the traditional way. Please try this if your display allows changing the speed limit and let me know what you think. Do you think it's a useful tool or do you think it's a ridiculous idea? By the way, if you enjoy my channel, you can help promote it by liking, by commenting, by sharing, and if you haven't already done so, by subscribing. You could help even more by buying a copy of my book, Sailor Without a Boat, How I Sailed on Other People's Yachts and Lived to Tell About It. You can learn more about the book and things related to e-bikes by visiting my website www.robertberio.com Thank you for watching and remember, never quit cycling!